All right, everybody, we're here. Welcome to Todd Bits. We're stoked that you're here hanging out with us today. My friends here, those that know, know that this is a train wreck of a relationship, and it has been for about 20-something years. Those that have been out and had some fun with us know what's about to happen. I apologize now. I'm glad we have an explicit In rating. And I absolutely apologize in advance. Whoever we offend, uh, whatever whatever happens, is I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, oh well, here it comes. Friends, Thanks. give it up for my buddy, my pal, my sidekick, the guy that's got way too many pictures on his phone. Give it up for Phil Griska with AO Foods. Dude, welcome. Thank you very much, Todd. Glad to be here. Listen to the, cl the clapping in the background. is unbelievable. It's deafening, actually. Deafening. Uh, yeah, you know, and i got to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say that I'm drinking water here in this meeting for this, for this Todd bit. I really it's am. Still, it's relatively early in the day. Well, it's, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? Exactly. Nice well, to I'm be glad, here. I'm glad. Thank you. It is. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I really do. And, I'm, and you know, I... I and been a part of what you've been doing, obviously, because uh, we chit chat every once in a while. And and I've tried this product that we're going to talk about today, your your almond based yogurt, this AO, AO yogurt. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and you got me involved in this a little bit in the sense of like, OK, well, try this yogurt, try this guy's yogurt, this and that. And I got to be really honest with you. You guys got a winning product here because flat out the other yogurts, out there, they're just not any good. And your stuff is absolutely fantastic. It is such a great experience eating your stuff. I'm a convert to it. I got it here at the house. I'm going to be eating it while, you know, I'm going to be eating it as we're talking. Go, Just, go good. Yeah. I, I know. I'm sorry. I mean, my mouth. Then you talk. Okay, yeah, I I can. That's all right. Don't worry about it. But before we get started, so I don't screw it up. And, you know, this way your mom, when she watches, this, doesn't get pissed at me for, you know, I, I don't need your mom mad. Tell everybody who the hell you are and give everybody a little bit of your journey and bio. And I'm going to sit here and keep eating my yogurt. Okay. Uh, name is Phil Gruska, um, living in Bakersfield right now, not too far from Todd, originally from Chicago. Um, go always Cubs. been involved. Go in Cubs. Go Cubs. Go yes, go Cubs. Go Cubs. Always been involved in marketing, um, kind of from the inception, like anybody else, started in sales and then worked in products I'm not going to say is not on the healthier realm because I had a stint with Wonder Bread and Hostess Cakes and Eagle Snacks and doing that. And some people might consider those not the healthiest products, but I tell you what, if you can get a ding dong at the end of a, a production line and eat that, one of the most amazing products you'll ever have. I don't care what anybody else says. It's an I never thought about product. that. The, 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 so what you're saying is the last ding dong in the line? Just a warm one that comes off the line. It's beautiful. Okay, Anyhow, oh. so we moved to California, started working in produce marketing. And as anybody knows here in the Central Valley of California is where fruits, vegetables, everything comes from really, you know, I mean, we feed the rest of the US and we feed all of the world. So started working in there. And then I had the fortune is to, to be right on the ground floor of AO yogurt um, a couple of years ago. And of course, our timing was impeccable because we just started going and then the pandemic hit. So other than if you wanted to start a business at the start of the Great Depression, or start it right then, pretty much hand in hand there. But yeah. uh, we've persevered and done it. And to your point, Todd, we have been trying to go to trade shows. So trade shows have been pretty much done. No we one just would. finally got into Ex you know, Expo West, which was Down just a month or so ago. And we yeah. did a tremendous amount of consumer research and taste panels and doing that. And but, you know, your sample is relatively it's relatively small, but everything we got was like, this is an amazing stuff. But to see, to go to Expo West, first of all, you have people that are predisposed. They're looking for that. Those are your kind of consumers. And to see overwhelmingly 99.8% of the people like, oh my gosh. And you know, when somebody tries something, when you have something to try it and before they say anything, you look and they, they try and they're like, and you see that look on their face, you know, yeah. you can tell inherently if somebody likes something or doesn't. And well, really, 100%. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that was, that was great. And, and uh, it's, it's an amazing product. It really is. And I, you know, like I said, and I'm not trying to make light of it and make fun of it, which of course I'm sure we're going to end up making light and fun of most things on this conversation, but having been a part of, you know, trying other brands that are out there, like, okay, give me feedback. 
truthfully, there's some out there that just flat out suck. And to sit there and, and to try something that is this far superior to everybody else, it was like, come on, come on my broadcast, because people need to hear about this because it's a worthy endeavor. You know, I love what you guys say that you put your heart and soul into every spoonful and you can really taste the, you know, what it is. It's fruit forward. It's got a great flavor, the whole nine yards. Before you get all that, almond into, in the back end. Yeah. Yeah. It's It's really, really good. But what's interesting about what you guys are, you're, you're one of the, I guess, really the first almond milk yogurt sourced directly from a family farm. Mm -hmm. which is a big statement to say. And I think it's important that, that people recognize that and consumers will love that, that, that fact. I mean, you know, you really are a, a, a vertically integrated company, which we're going to get into a little bit. But before we do, let's share a little bit about AO and what it is and, and just kind of give everybody a little bit of a, where the idea come from and where you're trying to accomplish. Again, and talk about the flavor profile, because I think it's amazing. And well, I'm going mean, to eat more yogurt. I'm going to eat more yogurt. So don't, you know, if I'm ignoring you, it's only because I'm eating yogurt. Okay, very good. Um, so how this, all, I mean, it's interesting because having worked in marketing, you, over the years, you have to, a lot of the times you have to create stories, right? You have to create right. something and then you have to think about it. How am I going to create the story and how am I going to make it sound real and engaging here? We, you don't have, we didn't have to create things. This is very much, excuse the pun, organic, the story. So Billings Ranches and Billings Marketing. It's a fourth generation almond farm here in the Central Valley. So almonds, if you look at all in the Central Valley, California produces about 80% of all almonds in the world. World, yeah. In the world. And so they've been fourth generation. And on the web, and the website, you look, you see Matt Billings is, is the farmer and his family's been doing it for four generations. You see a picture of his grand, great, great grandfather and grandmother wearing clothes that Farmers don't wear anymore. Um, big fucking hats those for doing that. I but wear the hat. Really started follow, started farming farming there, and then there are still some orchards and some land that he was farming on in the early 1900s that is still producing almonds today. Wow, so, that's kind of an imp so that's that's, impressive. Stuff. I mean, that's it. So how the whole idea started is you sell almonds. A lot of the things go bulk almonds to be able to do that, sure. and there's not necessarily a lot of value added, even though it's they're amazing almonds. An almond can be kind of an almond. So literally Matt and I sat down and we're like, we, I want more people to enjoy our almonds. How can we get more people to enjoy these? What kind of products? How can we add value? So we started right. thinking about it. You, you have almond milk. Right. That was one of the, you know, a lot of people in almond milk, a lot of capital, a lot of things like that already kind of saturated. Looked at almond butter. There's some nice stuff, but in terms of a total business and the opportunity and the upside, and then we started right. looking at yogurt. We're like, ooh, category is very strong. There are some competitors. And then we started trying some of the products. And I'm not going to talk specifically about anybody no, else. I but already if said you've they done saw, that so okay. and you've seen it and you've tried it, we are, both Matt and I, cook a lot. We do a lot of stuff. And if something doesn't taste good, are you going to come back to it? Are you going to mm -hmm. buy it again? And do you feel proud at the end of the day going, hey, this is our almonds and this is what it is? So it's, we really wanted to make something that tastes good and it does. And so what you'll get, and we, we started out to be very simple, very simple. So when you're looking at yogurt, you look at all the other flavors. You can have rhubarb and this and that and all the other stuff. You looked at it, it's the 80-20 rule. It's peach, vanilla, blueberry, and strawberry. Those make up about 80 percent of all of percent the of all the algorithms yeah yeah so why create something that's out of this world for somebody to try let's start here let's start simply then we can always grow we can do that let's get people to try it let's get people to do that we can always expand from there we can always do those kinds of things so we started out very simply our ingredient legend is simple our idea is simple and the story is very simple and it's very straightforward and it's really resonating with um, consumers and, you know, retailers. Thanks for joining the Toddversation. And now a word from our sponsor. This episode of Toddversations is brought to you by Viva Tierra. Viva Tierra, organic to the core. Connect with us at vivatierra.com. Well, yeah, no doubt. Well, because it tastes good. Let's be honest. I mean, to your point, if it tastes crappy, people aren't going back for a second time, right? I mean, like how many restaurants don't survive? You go once, it's terrible. You never go back. I mean, mm -hmm. but to, to be fourth generation farming in California is pretty impressive. I mean, that is a long time. And when you think about it, and, and to have tree, now, I, I don't know this. And you may not know the answers. I'm going to put you on the spot. 
But are the trees on that original property from the early 1900s? Is it the same trees they live? I don't even know how long an almond tree lives. No, you, you, the average, you can go 30, 40 years to be able to do that. Um, so not not the same trees. Um, same, but, you okay. know, there is a know. long, there, there's a longevity to almond trees as well. Yeah, absolutely. But That's certainly cool. not 100 years. There may be some, but they the production level starts heading down after a while. So, yeah. So getting a little bit more, because... You know, again, almonds, a $12 billion industry. It is, it is, it's not chump change. It's out there. California is a big part of it. And you touched a little bit about milk. You touched a little bit about some of the other stuff. But really what, you know, and I know you mentioned that yogurt was an opportunity and this stuff, but you know, dairy is a tough business, right? Let's be really honest. Dairy, and you're facing this now in a lot of ways. You know, if some produce is a lot of the same way, but in dairy, you know, if you want to put something on the shelf, something's got to come off the shelf, right? Mm-hmm. They're just not adding more space because more stuff comes, right? It doesn't work that way. So that's a challenge. So why did yogurt, you know, when you're sitting down, why did yogurt make sense when you're looking at this, you know, big global business? Why did that seem to be like the right lane to go into? I mean, it was just as we looked at product development, it was a wonderful foil for the almond taste and everything else. And it just really highlighted almonds. And in every one of the, in every one of these cups, and again, we don't know what other you, you hear stories about how many almonds are in milk, how many almonds are in X, but there's, tw- I did the math. There's 20 almonds in every one of those cups. You did the math? You went to public well, school no, 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 somebody else checked it too. Somebody, I had one. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, All right, just that, I'm asking. I'm asking Not just for me. a friend. Not just me. So there's 20 almonds in every one of these cups, which is amazing, which is why after you get the fruit, you get a toasted almond flavor that comes yeah. through. So, I mean, we make the claim and, you know, we know we have 20 almonds, we have strong suspicions that they're significantly less in other people. Again, we know ours tastes good and we know our benefits. And uh, that's what we tell. We don't talk bad about anybody else. That's pretty impressive though, 20. I mean, and, and that, you know, and we look at the nutritional load of what an almond is, the positivity. I mean, almonds is a positive food. Nuts are a positive part of our diet. Mm-hmm. It's not, you know, it's a good thing. That's, it's, it's really impressive. But to your point, this is the, the flavor profile. Of this is so unique because, it, you know, you get that good fruit flavor coming out. And then that backside taste of the almonds, it is pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's, I'd almost describe it some ways as some people describe having a glass of wine, not necessarily like it tastes like starfish, like wine can do, you know, things like that. But I mean, you know, you've got the, you, you've got the, that doesn't have the pencil shavings and the, and the people, I don't, I don't understand how you have saddle leather. I'm not who's, who's tasted saddle leather, but nonetheless, but you know, you, you take, you take this flavor profile and you have you know, a, a, a flavor experience, similar to like drinking a glass of wine, where you get a flavor in the front and you get a flavor at the back. This is the exact same thing. That's why I, th- I think it's so impressive because it's it's unique in that flavor profile. Well, I mean, the one piece that we've had the greatest success in is when you're able to go see a customer, a retailer. And again, a lot of those things have been on hold, but what we'll do is we bring in our yogurt and then we'll go to the stores and we'll buy other almond-based yogurts or coconut-based yogurts or cashew yogurts. And we bring those in as well and we have them just try it. And I can't tell you that is the most powerful tool that we yeah. have is for somebody to try it next to something else. And then from nutritionally versus the other ones, we actually have higher protein. We have higher fiber. Our sugar is one of the lower ones on the on the list so we are very favorable in comparison and obviously extremely favorable in terms of you know the flavor profile but that's That's incredibly strong when somebody can actually try it it's amazing well yeah it is it's it's it is a it is a worthy it is a worthy uh item to search search out at the grocery store no two ways about it i want to talk a little bit though uh, um, you know specifically about almonds because almonds you know Mm -hmm gets a bad rap in a lot of ways, right? And, and, and I want to sure. talk a little bit about water when it comes to almonds as well. Mm-hmm. So first, talk a little bit from the perspectives of, of building these farms, dealing for a long period of time in California. Talk a little bit just about water itself in California and the issues that you as a farming family are facing and maybe some of your neighbors, et cetera. Because I think people would like to hear that. Sure. No, I mean, water is very, water and its usage and its, or lack thereof, um, is very critical for anybody uh, in California. I mean, this year we're still gonna be under, even though we're talking about getting some rain, but it's still gonna be under what the average is for this year. I mean, where it comes down to is over the long period of time, you've had a way to strategically, you've water, this water issue is not something that's come up over the last three years. 
if you're no. a farmer for years and years, when you talk to your grandfather, you know, land that has water, land that doesn't have water, how important it is. And farmers don't want to put either use more fertilizer, pesticide, water than absolutely they need to. And where things historically had been flood irrigated. Well, flood irrigated, now they got a little bit historically, then they got a little bit better. So they're not flood. Now it's all drip irrigation. So you're only using the water exactly where it needs to be and exactly right. what you need, not overwatering, not underwatering to be able to do that. And yes, you know, almonds do get, um, they've gotten some bad press to be able to do that. And when they talk about yeah. how much water it takes to, for an almond, they always talk about the almond. That's what, you know, what we're used to the eating. So the, right. eating, you know, the eating piece, but an almond is actually comes up of three different pieces and that's kind of not taking into account in a account lot of the you, right. calculations. So you have the hull. So the almond is, here's a little fact for you. Almond is a close cousin to a peach. So if oh, you look a at a peach, a bit of trivia so right a peach is fuzzy on the outside. So you have a hull right. on the outside. So that's the fuzzy part to be able to do that. What that is used is, so the secondary use is for cattle feed and it's used in that industry. They can also grind it up and use beds, but a lot of cattle feed, it can also be put into biochar. So there's a lot of other uses and there's a lot of research about where these, where these other pieces can be used, whether they're in plastics or things to be able to make things more sustainable. Then you have the shell. So that's the outside. So when you get a bowl of nuts, grandma's house over Christmas, you know, over Christmas, you see that shell, you got a crack. So that's used as well. And that's used for cattle bedding as well. And that's also used for the biochar. So you have that use. So it's nothing's going to waste, right? So nothing's going right. to waste. And then you have the almond. So all of those other pieces, and almond only makes up a small portion of the total fruit. All those pieces are being used. And so if you're using it for cattle feed, the, the outside, well, you're not growing other crops. You're not doing that piece. You're using that as cattle feed. Plus, because of all the dairies and everything else here, there's not a lot of transportation. Everything is pretty close by. They're all symbiotic right. relationships between the dairy farmers and the other people. So um, it, it yeah. gets a lot of use. Well, no, no. well look, I, and I, I did a dive on a check. You know, so people talk about it takes, you know, 1.1, 1. 1, 1 point, whatever, one gallon to grow, to grow a nut. But then when you compare that, and to your point, like, and that is just talking about one specific part of three things. But then when you look at things just, you know, like a citrus tree, they'll use 135 gallons of water a day right? The trees itself. So, you know, the math is all there. It just depends on who wants to get picked on by whatever side right. wants to have an argument, right? Look, mm -hmm. water's a big problem. And the thing about yes. where almonds, I think, get in trouble, is, you know, and other crops as well, is that California just has a terrible water system. We've not invested enough money into our water. We, we have all these people, we have all these crops for feeding the world, and we build a bullet train. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me when we don't have any kind of, we haven't done anything water-wise in years and years and years. So it's kind of an unfair rap. It's like, you know, somebody's got to take the blame for that. And I think a lot of times ag gets that blame. It's like, well, great. So if you're not going to grow something, we all going to eat, right? <laughs> well, but, but the fact is, is that, you know, regardless of what it is, you know, you have to be costs are escalating on everything, right? Costs are escalating. And this is not something, and it's, it's interesting. So when you start talking to, and this is a couple of years ago, you start talking to farmers about sustainability because sustainability was a big buzz to be able to do that stuff. And you, the, the farmer, the generational farmers will go, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're like, okay. And then you give them examples. They go, oh yeah, we've been doing that for years. Oh yeah. We've been more efficient. We've been doing this. They go, we just didn't give it a name. You're giving it a name. They're like, absolutely. We're being more efficient. We're being more cost-effective. We're doing these other pieces. We're reducing the amount of packaging that we're using. We're doing all of those things part and sure. parcel because farming is a tough, tough, hard it's business. Unbelievable not business. a steady state business that one year is go good. The other one isn't. And you have to, you got to have a lot of perseverance, not only to be a farmer, but to try and sell a product into the grocery store chains from a real small you know, a, a family yeah. business, you got to have a lot of perseverance and you got to, every no is another reason to go ask for another yes to be able to do that. And obviously it's been challenging with COVID and all the other pieces, but. Well, no, well, there's no, yeah, COVID's definitely been a little bit of a challenge in a lot of ways, <laughs> but you know, you, you talk about the, the use of the omelet a little bit, the upcycling that's, that's involved with that. And I think that's, you know, that's such a big topic right now. Um, and, and really, Clearly, when you think about food going fresh, there becomes this um, 
expectations of what things need to look like, right? So if you've got three almonds and, and two of them are dinged, they're not going, what are you going to do, right? It's all a part of that process, right? It's about water we should use for those other two. So talk a little bit about how AO fits in kind of that upcycling conversation and what you guys learned about um, that in regards to, you know, producing this yogurt. Well, I mean, one of the things that you have is obviously if you're selling bulk almonds and you're selling them for people all over the world, I mean, the almond, there's certain grades. The almond has to look gorgeous and it has to be pretty. So to your point, yes, if something's ding, it doesn't take away from anything the nutritional basis from it. It doesn't take away any of those pieces. It's just not gorgeous. Well, what we do with AO, very simple, we just grind the almonds into butter. So whether it's pretty, I mean, the, the almond butter from a gorgeous almond or one that has a ding out of it or is a split, there's really no difference. So again, we're getting use, we're getting uses from that and, and we're able to do that. So it's, it's an efficiency Which, basis too. I think Absolutely. it's fantastic. So, I mean, look, I, 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 I know how to milk a cow. How do you milk an almond? How do you milk an almond? Yeah. Um, you read to it softly. I understand they like erotica. Uh, and then you, oh, your, they, they, I like that they do. I didn't, I didn't I, know almonds did. I said it was going to go off the rails. So off we go. <laughs> How do you milk? Uh, so you, <laughs> so the process, uh, almond, almond milk is you grind. Uh, I mean, very simple. So we're taking almonds, you roast, you, so you roast, uh, you, you roast the almonds and then uh -huh. you grind them into, and when you grind them, it's turned into butter because you get a lot of the natural oil. So you get right, right, butter. Right, right. That's mixed with all the ingredients from the yogurt. And then that's where it comes. So it's, it's real simple. And there's not a lot of other ingredients. You need, you need a little bit for thickness of it. Obviously, the fruit is good. Sure. And we use all organic fruit. As I mentioned, the, the almonds, Metgros, conventional almonds and organic almonds, we're only using our organic almonds in here. And we are the source of... The almond. Yeah. We know where they come from. It's not organic from X and Y and Z. We know right. the source. We know how they were grown. We know how efficiently it is. And it's to the point about a true story. When Matt and I go in and talk to retailers, and we started looking at this and they said, well, you're a farmer. And then the first time Matt kind of looks on and goes, and he lifts up his foot and he's wearing an old pair of boots. I mean, he's got a nice shirt on, but he's wearing an old pair of boots and there's farmer's boots. Why? Because there's the most comfortable thing you had. And I wear them every single day he wears them every single day of the year yeah. yeah i mean those those are kinds of things the depth that you can talk about your product and almonds i can never talk about it like that because you've been living it for generations so, you well, know right they, they've been doing it since they were kids and they've seen their yeah, dad no, and their there's no doubt there's no doubt and and they and i didn't realize they like soft music and nice words i think that's lovely so yeah. you learn something I think new every day well, I did. And I'm sure people didn't realize that almonds are related to a peach either. So, I mean, I think we're, I mean, literally we are a source of unbelievable information on this, on our broadcast. Yes, we are. We are. It's amazing. Tell me a little bit more. I want to get a little bit deeper because I think it's important to, to bring this up uh, about the health benefits of what you guys are about. Cause you, you know, you mentioned you guys are low in sugar, which is a big, which is really a big thing when it comes to this. Like, you know, we've talked about all the time, you know, you could have a piece of balsa wood and put enough sugar around it. People think it's going to taste great. You guys aren't that way. You're really leaning into not only the, the, the natural flavor coming from the almonds, which has, a, a, you know, a good sweet, that oil, that base, that thickness of it really has mm -hmm. a good flavor, for, but you've got great fruit load in there too, which is nice. So your sugar levels down, which is impressive. So talk a little mm -hmm. about the nutritional levels, if you would. And I'm going to eat, I'm eating more yogurt, by the way. You are eating. I'm, I'm, I'm on a second. Yeah, I, I can get peach. you. I can get you some more. Yeah, I, I, I you might be able to hook a brother up. I love the peach. I, I, I wolfed down the peach. Now I'm on to the blueberry. Well, I mean, you yeah. have it's a good natural source of fiber. You have a good natural source of plant protein. I mean, so all of those elements from that has a lot of antioxidants. And then in the yogurt, I need antioxidants. I need a lot of antioxidants. <laughs> and then you have culture. So it's cultured with the same cultures that you're using for regular yogurt. And we also right. use one called, it's called BB12, which is, you can look it up. People can look it up. Wasn't that the character? That was the character on Star Wars. It has a lot of extra benefits from a culture standpoint. That wasn't the character on Star Wars, BB12? That was not. No, no. Oh, no. I didn't know. BB12 oh. is, is, is a, it's actually a wonderful um, culture that has a lot of benefits to it. So it's, and again, we're not trying to be a substitute for something. We're not like, we don't like dairy that. yogurt. We want something else. We're like, we know, I mean, people like yogurt. This is a great tasting yogurt. And some people yeah. choose not to, 
have dairy for one reason or another, but you don't have to, I, you don't have to just like plant-based yogurts to like this one. You don't have to, anybody can like the piece and we're not trying to be something, uh, uh, like a fake X or a fake Y. We're just trying yeah. to be a great tasting piece to do it. I mean, that has that part now. milk yogurt has benefits and people love it to be able to do that. I mean, there's a lot of things that milk yogurts, some things that they can do from a nutritional profile without adding things that is very good. But for people that like almond milk that like this, or just like yogurt in general, that's where we come in. So oh, we kind of get people, it from all different ways. There's people that can't have dairy. There's people that, you know, there's people that have food restrictions, people that, you know, yeah. they're looking for alternatives because life is what life is for them. And it's great to have that. And great to have something like this that actually is really worthy of the investment of time and energy to go find and get in your, in your house because it actually, is, it's delicious. I mean, it's like, to your point, you've taste tested enough. I've been around the block with this enough. I feel confident saying what I can say because I've been with you and tried and done other stuff and, sure. and got to the point of like, yeah, like I, this is something in my house. It's delicious. Talk to us a little bit about your website, give your web address. Um, mm -hmm. But also, you know, you have a very active website. It's pretty cool to go to. You got couponing up there. I mean, you guys are really trying to, you know, push the envelope a little bit and get people involved, you know, and, and I think in a great way with your website, if you wouldn't mind touching on that a little bit, that'd be awesome. And I'm going to eat more yogurt. Sure. So it's AO yogurt, A Y O yogurt.com. And it'll go into the history of all the stuff that we just talked about. There's good pictures to be able to do that. There's good. It's literally, if anybody has traveled through the central Valley, obviously you have, it makes the valley the most gorgeous thing for about three weeks when all the blossoms are in there. I mean, and it's it just, gorgeous. And I mean, the amazing, Matt has actually been, so going out to there and taking pictures during the bloom, um, hearing just the buzz of the bees in there. And actually, Matt, the family has been using the same family of beekeepers for over 40 years, 40 to 50 years. That's a general generational business as well. So they bring wow, in the bees wow. and the bees pollinate everything. And all it is, is you smell the gorgeous piece and then you hear the buzz of all the bees going and it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing from there. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, bee business is, you know, thank God for the bee business. Thank God this guy's doing for 40 years. I just saw, speaking of bees, I just saw articles talking about how they were, you know, giving tree, tree farmers a hard time about the bees and saying, you know, hey, the bees, you know, you're killing the bees, blah, 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 blah. And people... I think people need to realize that the bees are only in the trees when the flowers are on the trees. The bees, you know, the bees move off to something else. They're not there. They, so when, you know, they move up towards California and up into Washington. They leave here yeah. and then they follow the they next. They just keep moving. And they follow the next. I yeah. mean, what a one. I mean, the bees, every time they go out, they got something else. They're like at a nice buffet. Now they got a peach. Oh, they're now they got this and that. Look, yeah, it's like the Golden Corral for bees. Similar. Similar to the Golden Corral, except without, you know, the, the whole cheese bar thing, whatever they have going there. I don't know. <laughs> so what's next for you? Like the, the cheese, the cheese, fountain, the cheese fountain. Yeah. yeah. So what's next for you guys? What's coming up? I mean, you got your flavors out, you're garnering right. market share, you're kicking in a bunch of doors, you're having great conversations. Tell us what's next. So what's next is really the, the, the biggest challenge from that is to get in front of more retailers, to have people try the product, to be able to do that. And then how we're doing it now, and this wasn't available to us as well, is sampling, getting in-store sampling, have people try to be able to do that. So in the absence of that, you mentioned the website. So we do coupons. We let people know where we're at. So there is a store yeah. locator and it is that. So Southern California, you've got, um, you've got Stater Brothers, you've got Lassen's, you've got Bristol Farms. You've got a lot of natural and organic stores all the way up and down the coast. Yeah. You've got in the Midwest, you've got some Pete's Woodman, Sendix. You've got all those ones in there. You've got other ones in the Pacific Northwest. So you could Plug it in there, find out where to figure go, out where you are. get a coupon. You can find out where everything is from there. And then we're going to come out because of the yogurt has been doing so well. You also have people that go, hey, I like yogurt, but I want to add my own ingredients. I want to do that. So we're coming out with a 16 ounce plane so that people can add fruit or nuts or whatever, granola whatever, or whatever they want whatever they to, to do yeah. that. And right then on. we've been exploring other ones. Like I said, our four flavors make up. That was three. That's four. Our four flavors make up Again, 80%, back to the Chicago but now school. you have lime. Ladies and gentlemen, Chicago school system right here at work. Right here, three, four, I don't know. It's a big number. Chicago school system just reeking out of you right now. Big, with the difference between three and four. I could talk like Chicago, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> and then you have you have a lot of great things. Our fruit, the partners that, do, that, that help us with our fruit, there's some amazing things, whether there's limes, or if you start going, you could start going things like yuzu and do things that are a little bit more trendy to be able to do it. But net net, we're using the exact same base 
right. of the yogurt for all the other stuff. So you know you're starting out with good bones, if you will. Yeah. And then you're just adding, and then you're just adding some stuff on top of it. So really expand, it. get in front of more retailers to be able to do this stuff, support it. I mean, we're a small company, but we are, you had mentioned it before, Facebook, Instagram, sampling, all those things. So we're while we're small, we are supporting it in a big way. And we have plans to continue to support it with any of the retailers we're going in. Our distribution's growing. Obviously, grow, you know, growing some more is is in the plans as well. But um, yeah, the future is really bright. And it's, it's just an, it's, it's, it's really fun to work on a product that you feel very good about. And you, yeah, know, no you give to somebody you, you don't wait for, you wait for the, as opposed to what do you think? Cause it's yeah. not a question of what do you think? If you like food and you, you like stuff, you'll come back to stuff. You know, I mean, everything's about balance. You can have dairy yogurt. You can have this. Just in, it, we're just looking for a little, you know, incorporate us into your diet because it's going to be a great part of your diet. Absolutely. No, look, you, I'm really proud of you guys for what you've done because you've made a really good product. And that's a challenge. Thank you. It's a challenge. It's a challenge to come out into this space and have something that you literally can eat. That is really good. You know, that doesn't always happen. Right. It, it, right. And you guys have got a home run with this product. I'm excited about what you're doing. I'm excited about the trajectory you guys are heading. Um, you know, let's keep it up. Come back on the broadcast. I'd love to have you come back and give people an update of what it is. You know, get online, figure out where this stuff's at. Go buy it. Ayo, I love saying ayo. I think you have to. I think it has to be like you have to do it like you almost yodel like ayo, something like that. There needs to be a little catchphrase there. There was, the, yeah. When it gets when it gets really really big, there was a song that we're will have the the, the singers in a, a the singers. Sometime. Well, there was a band. I, a, well, I'm not going to sing. Now. All right, never mind. Yeah, don't sing. I've 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 seriously I've seen that before. I, it's not. Just let it go. Just can, let we, it go. can we edit that out? No, not now. I, that part I won't edit. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Well, it's been a pleasure. I, I can't edit that part. <laughs> no, but thank you for coming on. I appreciate you, you know, giving me the chance to, to share this with everybody because it's a worthy share. So, you know, keep it up. Let us know how to help. Um, you know, come back on and tell us when you get your new flavors and what's going on. We'll keep people yeah. posted. No, no, no. Look, look for it in your stores. If you have any questions, just go to the website and do that. And then all my, if you, there's email addresses on there, all that stuff's going to come directly to me. Questions, concerns, you want to see us, you want to do anything else, just let me know. I'm here and perseverance, aggressiveness, and hey, it's a great thing to be behind it. and uh, it makes my day a lot of fun. I love it. Good job, dude. I'm proud of you guys. I really am. I think this is, uh, this is really it. kind of fun. Hey, everybody, thanks for hanging out with us today on Todd Bits. We appreciate you. A little different avenue for us today, talking about different stuff. Still farming, still ag, still organic, still good, still good for you. It fits right into our mantra, and it's a worthy product, so therefore it gets my attention. Thank you for swinging by. Don't forget to check thanks. us out on social media. Check out AO on social media, too, because you know why they're on social media and why we're on social media? Because that's where the cool kids hang out. So make sure you check us out. Make sure you be a part of it. Like them, love them, whatever you got to do on Facebook. Same with us. Come tell a story with us, whatever you want to do. We appreciate you listening. Uh, remember, go inspire somebody today. It's really important. It make a big difference in somebody's day, and it's up to you to do that. So thanks a lot for being here. We'll talk soon. Brother Phil, I love you, man. Uh, I'll meet you now Thank with you. cocktails. We'll get we're cocktails and face tattoos. That's our afternoon. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Have a good day. See ya.